This is a journey into sound. This music, this music, be in love with house music. It's about the time. Mm -hmm. For the love of house, for the love of beats, or for the love of dance. Three, two, one. What's up everyone, Craig Stewart and Johnny Montana here from Universe Media with June Soul Horizon. Two hours of soulful underground dance music. We're on the decks for the first hour or so. You'll hear a world exclusive sneak peek from our forthcoming single on Universe Media. It's out in the shops on Thursday the 5th of July. This month's big tune is something a little bit different. We're going to slow it down a little. We're going to slow the BPMs down and play you some super smooth samba music with our friend, our good friend Doric Oslin on remix duties. One from the vault is from 1989, one of the biggest tracks ever made. It's CNC's Music Factories A Deeper Love, suggested by Hesos Pablo from Barcelona. Thank you, Hesos. Our guest on the telephone is Grammy Award winning dance music heavyweight Maurice Joshua. Oh yeah, Grammy Award winning guests. That's what you get with this show. And he'll hopefully be taking over the decks to spin a guest mix. He may not have time. I've recorded the interview. I've asked him nicely to send over a guest mix. But I know he's touring the world right now. He's going to try and send something over. If not, we'll have something waiting in the wings for you instead. We start with one of the remixes of our forthcoming single featuring the wonderful voice of Krista called Slow and Steady. It's the Rurals on remix duties. Andy Compton's the Rurals, and we've got further remixes on the package coming from Jamie Lewis and uh, Reagan Gray from Canada uh, in the shops, as I say, Thursday the 5th of July, exclusively on Traxos. So that's Montana and Stuart featuring Krista. Uh, for the full track listing of the show, go to the studio, sorry, the radio station's website that you're listening to right now, or you can hit us up on Facebook, SoundCloud, MySpace, blah, blah, blah. Here we go.
Yeah, not bad, eh? Super smooth. This is out uh, Thursday, 5th of July. This is the Raw Rules remix um, on Rhodes there, Andy Barton. Jeff Bass on bass, Andy Compton in the background here on guitars and all other instruments. Out 5th of July exclusively on Traxos. We're in the mix. checking out Soul Horizon with Montana and Stuart in the mix. Love, love. 
absolutely gorgeous this um, this is Andy Soul featuring Matthew Yates the track's called I Never Knew it uh, came in my inbox as a promo uh, on uh, the label Cooler and this is the Soul Light Missing Her remix beautiful that from South Africa Andy Soul underneath that Jonathan Mayer from Rome Italy featuring Anna Cavazos what a beautiful voice she's got uh, superstar DJ of course as well producer from New York City Anna Cavazos beautiful the track's called Can't Hold Back that's the main mix on Kerry Chandler's Madhouse Recordings underneath that kicked off the show Montana and Stewart featuring Krista Slow and Steady the Rurals remix forthcoming on Universe Media and up next is our original from the forthcoming package Montana and Stewart featuring Krista Slow and Steady this is our take on the uh, on the beautiful vocal from Krista. Coming in now, we're in the mix. My name's Craig Stewart, he's Johnny Montana. This is Soul Horizon, and very soon we'll be talking to the one and only Maurice Joshua. We're in the mix.
this is Krista, and you're checking out my new track called Slow and Steady, music by Montana and Stewart. I'm stepping, stepping, I'm stepping 
Johnny's uh, in the mix here. He's uh, got the bit between his teeth. He, he's throwing them down and not even letting me know what he's playing. <laughs> okay, so making some notes here. Johnny Montana in the mix. Uh, kicked off uh, Montana and Stuart featuring Krista, Slow and Steady. 
It's our original jam on the forthcoming Universe Media, 5th of July. I think I've told you that already. <laughs> I won't tell you again. I know that one. On top of that, of course, Distant People uh, and Magic Soul. Beautiful, that. Joey Silvera, of course, a friend of ours from the UK. Leicester Way in the UK, East Midlands. And Magic Soul from South Africa. Tracks called Feel Alive. In our opinion, that's Joey's best ever material. Fantastic. Forthcoming on Solid Ground Recordings. On top of that, the layabouts featuring uh, Seattle's Portia Monique. That's called Do Better. You might remember that package was released a while ago. The remixes are coming out now. And it's the Real People vocal mix on their own imprint, Real People. This in the background, the one and only DJ Charisma. Tracks called Good Morning. It's DJ Spen and Gary Hudgens' beautiful morning mix on R2. Okay, next up is the big tune, something a little bit different. We're going to throw down some samba, some samba music. And the, uh, the artist is uh, Quetzal. Guerrero, I hope I pronounced that right. And the track's called Samba du Colle. It's Doric Oslin on the remix. Beautiful list. Check it out. Fantastic. Hey, this is Joey Silvero from Distant People, and you're checking out Johnny Montana and Craig Stewart in the mix. Superb summer vibes here. I can't play all the way through without talking a little bit uh, into this. Um, it's out in a month's time, so sometime in August, on ZLN Music. It's uh, Quetzal Guerrero. 
Uh, track's called Samba de Quala, and it's Doric Oslin on the remix. Next up, we're going to pick up the speed again. Richard Earnshaw featuring Natasha Watts on top of that. Carol Harding with Shaw McCabe on a King Street Sounds massive production. And then another one from us. Here we go. We're in the mix. This is Divinity, and you're in the mix with my boys Johnny Montana and Craig Stewart.
Yeah, okay, this uh, Montana and Stewart featuring Divinity. Yeah, you, you've heard this before. Uh, this this uh, this was released on vinyl about 12 months ago, I think, or coming up to 12 months ago. It's going to get its digital release. We're very excited about this. It's going to get its digital release on the new package of ours featuring Krista. So uh, Montana and Stewart featuring Krista, Slow and Steady. You can pick that up very soon, 5th of July. And on there will be the digital release of this jam. Bennett Holland on keys and uh, Rick Holmes on jazz guitar. Okay, yeah, kicked off that last segment. Uh, Richard Earnshaw featuring Natasha Watts, Won't Let Go. Classic vocal mix on Richard Earnshaw's imprint Duffno and the UK's finest Natasha Watts singing and writing something really quite spectacular on top of that carol harding pick it up it's uh, sean mccabe on the club vocal that's one of the king street sounds classic tunes ever that they've released there's only one or two people remixing these old tunes that they're bringing back uh, kerry chandler is one of them i can't remember the others but sean mccabe really is setting the standard in the uk so much so that uh, the USA is all over him. So good luck to you, Sean. Friend of the show, of course. Okay, coming up next is the uh, big tune, CNC Music Factory, Pride, A Deeper Love. And uh, we're going to drop the soulful a cappella intra house mix, uh, which is about 12 minutes. So fantastic stuff. Very, very uplifting. Uh, I think that's it for now, Johnny. Anything else do you want to add? Nope, that's it. Okay, uh, so, and then after that, we'll be talking to Maurice Joshua on the telephone. Live from Chicago, Illinois. Okay, here we go. Hi, this is George Hess from Strictly Rhythm, and you're checking out Montana and Stewart's Soul Horizon. I work hard every 
Well, I got love in my heart. It gives me the strength to make it through the day. Pride and love, pride is respect for yourself, and that's why I'm not looking for handouts, charity, welfare. I don't need stealing, dealing, not my feeling. No backstabbing, greedy, grabbing, lying, cheating. Cause I. And I call it
You're checking out Johnny Montana and Craig Stewart. The hottest DJ mixing the beats. Be- beats. 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 Mixing. 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 Mixing the beats. You're in the mix with Maurice Joshua. Music is where I live. Music is where I live. Music is where I live. I gotta keep on dancing. Music is my life. I gotta keep on dancing. Cause music is my life. I gotta keep on dancing. Said music is my life. Keep on dancing. The music that I feel in my soul And when the daylight comes And I'm leaving the dance floor By night time I'll be back for more This is the way I live I'm alive and living now From the day that I was born Telephone from Chicago, I have a dance music heavyweight. In fact, I have a Grammy Award winning dance music superstar. An innovator who's been playing his trade since the 1980s with his first ever production released on Chicago's legendary tracks records. He's still as active today in the music industry as he's ever been. He's worked with the biggest names on planet Earth. Here's just a few of them. Just just get hold of this. Beyonce, Michael Jackson, Anastasia, Puff Daddy, the brilliant, amazing, on Vogue, George Michael, Mary Jane Blige, Kim English, and of course the late, great Whitney Houston. His highly acclaimed digital imprint regularly tops the download charts all around the world, and the artists releasing their music on the label are some of the very best new talent around and with of course a superstar roster as well maurice joshua what a thrill to have you on the show thank you so much for your time welcome to soul horizon thank you so much i'm, I'm glad to be a part of this well, I mean, as far as Grammy Award winners go, you're the first we've had on the show so far, Maurice, and it feels just great. Um, although we do actually have Jodie Watley coming on the show soon, so we're looking forward to oh, that wow, as well. Oh, wow, okay. Very yeah, good. Yeah. Well, I am honoured to be on the show, and I'm, I am very pleased that I am the first one to do this. Oh, well, you're the first Grammy Award winner, that's for sure. Now, <laughs> listen, if I may, um, we've got lots to ask you. Uh, thank you for your time, but um, if I may, no I, because of the average age of the listeners to this show, we're all getting on now, and um, I would lo- I'd love to talk about the Posse first, please, if that's okay. Um, I mean, in 1989... I was 18 years old going to a club in Manchester here where I live called the Hacienda and the DJ at the time, Graham Park, used to play all the Very Deposit good. records, yeah. yeah, yeah, I used to play them all. Yeah, but love Graham Park, yeah. Yeah, I'm sure you do and, and he played. He used to play the track It's My Life and when he played that the dance floor used to explode. Well, the Posse was uh, myself, uh, Hula, which is, was Hot Hands Hula back in the day, and Hula was part of the Out Here Brothers also. Crazy thing is Craig was now in Azza. And we also had a name, a guy named Martell at, at, at the beginning. Mm-hmm. And so we all started out because we were all school buddies. So, you know, we developed a, a group where Hula developed a group at first. And we came up with the name The Posse because we was all like a crew at the time. 
Well, actually, it's my life was done by Hula. It was it was the EP that we did with the whole Departure of Future Records. That was the first record that Hula came up with that we did. I remember the first drum machine was the 707 he purchased. Made everything off that, man, in, in, in the house and, you know, just mixing the stuff as best we could in the house, you know, just listening to things. Now, it's my life track, you know, which just like, because the passion that we love music so much, that that's what came about of it. Please tell us about the Grammy Award, because the Beyonce track uh, earned you a Grammy. I mean, I know you've told that story lots of times, so <laughs> tell us about it. Yes, actually, you know, like I said, I was one of the, one of the main remixes, and that track came about because they wanted something totally different, but I always felt like, you know, that track, that the vocals were a little too fast, and usually I have Beyonce and the girls come in and recut the vocals, but at that time, she was so big and traveling so much, it was impossible to get her back in the studio to recut it, so we had to stress the vocals, but it, it turned out to be a, a great remix, you know, just a, a great selling remix, you know? Yeah, and you are known as the remixer, of course, and we're fully aware of who you are over here, and your productions and remixes are, are well documented, of course, and um, I wonder if you'd right. tell us about your studio process in, in this day, this modern day. I mean, what, what equipment do you use? Are, are you a musician? Yeah, I mean, that, that's what my background is with music. I was always in the band, you know, and played with a horn player, Then I taught myself how to play the piano a little bit, so the process of back in the day is we used to have every hardware... JP8 9000 to the Juno 106s, uh, every piece of gear, analog gear that you can imagine, we had it. From that from that day on to now, it's a totally different era because everything is more electronic and in the box, you know, for me, you know, you can mix everything in the computer now, basically. I am a logical user. I started from, I started out a digital performance. Uh, and then I switched over to logic because I was, you know, like I was Mac based we're going to do this and you know it was just like one of those things that I switched over it was kind of hard at first but you know I got used to it and now I'm an avid fan of Black yeah, yeah, and 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 just to go back in the day of course I mean but what was it like in Chicago during the explosion of the house music scene I mean just how did this incredible sound manage to become today's modern day rock and roll I mean I, my own opinion is the truth of course is that house music has turned out to become a much bigger phenomenon than rock and roll would you agree with that? Uh, I believe it's, it's up there with rock and roll right now that, especially the dance music you know what I'm saying? Yeah and, and so back in the day in Chicago I mean with the uh, tracks records what was it like during that time? Uh, at the first you know tracks record was was really nice, you know what I'm saying? I mean, it was to the point where we, as, as us being young, we really didn't know the business, and that's the key thing about a lot of people right now. A lot of people got screwed up from track records, you know? Just the vibe and the whole sensation of that era, I mean, I wouldn't change anything because what I learned right now was just wonderful. Today, more than ever, you're, you're producing music. Your imprint, uh, M Maurice Joshua Digital, is topping the charts all over the place. Uh, I mean, tell us about your imprint. I mean, who's on the label? It's ethos, it's goals. Because in this modern day digital world, competition right. is well, fierce, my, right? Well, my flagship label is, is New Soul, which is the company that I had for since like '99. And then I, I, I tell it off because I wanted to do something more soulful, vocal. So that's why I started Maurice Joshua Digital because of. Uh, New Soul, which was my my production company name, and I just made it a label name, but it seemed like people knew my name, and my name was more branded than anything, you know, so what I did was, um, just started like that, and just, you know, wanted to make sure everybody gets exactly, you know, they knew what the brand was, you know. Oh, who's on the label right now? Was I have several artists on the label right now. I have uh, Mila Shine, who did Children at a Piano, we did I Am Blessed. A couple more tunes coming out, she also sung on, um, the remake of George Duke, I Want You For Myself with the Diz and Azza. We have Jay-Z, Brandy B, which she was a singer, the lead, one of the lead singers from the group Black back in the 90s. Left Eye Lopez founded the group. I had a, a, a one young lady named Jamie Woods that was on the label. Or it was uh, Kate Biggie that was on the label. So we have various artists on there and, you know, there's more to come right now also. Yeah, I'm sure. And, and and what about this incredibly exciting new digital era? I mean, I mean, what... Maurice, what are, you, what are your honest views on music piracy, for instance? A good or bad thing? What do you think? Well, I mean, it's, it's definitely a bad thing because right now we know that, you know, you can't do anything, you know, and, and make a living off of when somebody's, you know, going around and, you know, getting your music for free. You know, we all know that. But the day and age of it right now, I mean, we have to deal with it in some time away. I think that's why a lot of the major labels have a problem with, you know, selling music because they thought that, 
they could be able to control the internet, you know, and they couldn't do it, you know, so now it was a problem for everything to sell, so, you know, it's just like, there's no control over it right now. Uh, I mean, it's just like, you know, somebody putting a, a TV out and you can get it for free the next time, we know that's not right. Yeah, and of course you're a DJ, and man, you've seen some changes in the DJ booth, yeah. right? What the changes you've seen, I mean, what's your DJ set up now, and, um... Your views on the digital DJ, Maurice, and of course the demise of vinyl. I mean, is it is it time to move on? Do you think? Well, I think it, it's definitely time to move on. I mean, we, we all came from the vinyl era, and you know, as myself, I love vinyl. I'm a vinyl, you can say, kind of sewer slash whore because <laughs> I, I love the sound of it. The thing is, it's just because I think it's more portable for DJs to move around with everything going digital now. Because if we plan, you know, I remember we used to play. You know, almost a six, seven, eight hour set sometimes. And, you know, before that was a lot of vinyl to carry. You know, or you wouldn't move everything, you'd make sure it would just stay, stay there at a place. But now, you can go in with the hard drive and have that much music. And, you know, still have a lot more to play. And you're comfortable playing it. Because, you know, it's, it's like that. I think it's, it's more of a revolution than we think it's like, you know, trying to take away from vinyl what it was. I think it's, it's, it's a step in the future. And it, it, it don't matter what you're playing or it's just how you're playing this deal. You know, just because it's all digital and electronic, you still have to know your music. Because you have to know your music from the past and to where it came from right now to the present. Yeah. You know, sometimes I use the USB drive because the CDJ 2000, you put the thing in there, you have all your music there. Uh, I don't do CDs as much because, like I say, it's depending on what type of gig I do. Because I do a lot of house gigs. But then I do a lot of gigs where I play a lot of house and I play a lot of hip hop and R and B and reggae too. So you know I switch it up a little bit now. Please tell us. I mean, what's to come from you over the next few months? I mean, we're absolutely loving your the remix you've done on DJ Spen's Quantize imprint, the Le Royals. Uh, do you have it remixed? Oh wow! Okay, yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, got... I got, got a lot of stuff coming out. As a matter of fact, right now we have the new uh, Mila Shine record with which is uh, I Am Blessed, but it's the Glenn, Glenn Underground GU Dancer remix mm -hmm. that is getting a lot of buzz and, and it's climbing the charts right now. Uh, I just finished uh, a new song with Rocco Sierra and Arturo uh, from Italy. Uh, they re redid a, a song called Rock With You, which is a Michael Jackson record, and I totally flipped it around and uh, redid some totally different where people wouldn't think that this is the same record. Yeah, yeah, we got that as well. Sounded fantastic. Absolutely superb. Listen, it's been a real thrill to have you on the show. Um, I do hope we can do it again, bro. But, but uh, for now, Maurice Joshua. Yep, Maurice Joshua, everybody. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Thank you, Craig. I appreciate it. Hey, and keep out the line. You're listening to uh, Maurice Joshua on the Soul Horizon Show, and he is in the mix.
feel it. My name is Wayne Williams. And music, you are my feeling.
Okay, that's it. Uh, that's the end of the show for June 2012. Maurice Joshua in the mix here. Absolutely superb. Throwing them down like he owns them. <laughs> okay. Thank you, Maurice. Thank you for your time, sir. And uh, that's the end of the show. Peace. World peace. Stop the violence. Speak to you next month. <laughs>